I always try to find my house, you know, to see if like my children are running around in the backyard. And I can never find my children. So, so, so I, I always try to look for landmarks, something associated with my neighborhood. Perhaps a, a steeple of a nearby church or a, or a, a grocery store or something like that. And, and then once I have that marker, once I have that marker, then I can say, aha, that's linked to my house. And then I can look in the backyard, and there's everybody waving up at my plane. I, I haven't gotten to that point yet, but, but I know it's going to work one of these days. But it does work in genetics. We can come up with markers, sequences of DNA that are associated with perhaps a gene, and use that as a marker to say, aha, that's there, so the kid's got to be in the backyard. The gene's got to be close by. And one of the best ways we can illustrate these ideas of, of markers is by something called the restriction fragment length polymorphism. And that's why we call these riffups, because that's a lot. There was a time when the amplified DNA You had to grow tons and tons of tiny cells can amplify in vitro just as well. Just mix your tablet with a buffer and some primer. Nucleotides and polymerases too. The nature Heating and cooling and heating will do. scientists out there doing PCR, BioRad salutes you with the all-new 1000 series thermal cycling platform.